clicks here and it represent the bryophyte you can see uh, there is a, a leaf like structure so there is a ventral scales so scales are basically somewhat looking like leaf right so they are leaf like structure and the lower part there are some root like structure they are known as the rhizoid right rhizoids are uh, we use the term rhizoid for them we do not use the root term for them right by the way rhizoids have the same function what root perform like rhizoids are meant for the anchorage of plant into soil and again it is responsible for the absorption of water as well as the mineral in the uh, for the plant but <coughs> they absorb the <coughs> i have written over here they absorb the water they hold the plant they absorb mineral so they perform different function right so so functionally they are similar to the root but structurally they are different we cannot call them root one more very important thing so upper surface right upper surface have scales means leaf like structure and uh, the lower surface they have the rhizoid so we can say the upper part is called dorsal and lower part is called ventral so plant have dorsi ventral structure you need to understand let me write it down what is the dorsal what is the ventral don't get confused so dorsal means the upper part right upper part and ventral means lower part so those plant animal or whatever the uh, organism is if you can differentiate between the dorsal and ventral structure right so those plant or animal are called uh dorsi uh, ventral right so this is the ventral lower part fine so here you can see there is a dorsi ventral structure one very important thing which i want to tell you and you need to understand over here i want your 100% focus over here in the bryophyte algae there are single type of them in the bryophyte you will see two kind of them. try to understand so bryophyte have two type of the plant what are those two types they are first before before starting that i want to tell you i will explain each and everything and you have to write it down first let, let, let me make you understand right bryophyte are called amphibian of plant kingdom why because the amphibian and bryophyte both have the similarity what kind of the similarity amphibian like frog they can live outside of the water they can live comfortably outside of the water they won't die their physiological process will not stop but they cannot reproduce or they cannot produce their offspring in the land they require water for the reproduction why i am saying like that because a uh, frog and most of the amphibian they release their egg outside of the body and those egg remains in the water in the same way male amphibian they release the sperm in the water and those egg and sperm they fuse outside of the body that's why we call that amphibian have external reproduction so reproduction takes place external right the same thing with the bryophyte so bryophyte can live out with uh, live outside of the water but they require uh, water for their reproduction their sperm swim in the film of water and they reaches to the egg part or ovary part the uh, ovonium part right so that's why we call them amphibian of the plant kingdom right and next so bryophyte have two type of the plant try to understand bryophyte have two type of plant. there is a gametophyte which is haploid means they have one set of the chromosome there is a sporophyte which will be diploid right gametophyte plant will bear the gamete what are those gamete those gametes are male and female gamete right male gamete is a sperm and female gamete is egg a sperm and egg fuses they form the zygote and zygote germinate after the germination of zygote right after the germination of zygote what happen formation of sporophyte takes place right is that clear or not yes. you can see in this green color plant body is basically gametophyte i have written over here gametophyte main plant body so here the gametophyte is main plant body i think it should not be clear to you uh, let me write it down more clearly
this is gametophyte this green color structure this is gametophyte and in bryophyte gametophyte it is main plant body main plant body in this gametophyte there is another plant right reproduction takes place means sperm and ovary fuses they make zygote and look this is the sporophyte a sporophyte uh, produces a spore right male and female spore right so uh, or rather than male and female they produce the diploid they produce the spores right gametophyte uh, so let me make it more clear a sporophyte is called parasite on gametophyte why look this sporophyte is not green it cannot make its food that's why it take the nutrition from the gametophyte hence we call that sporophyte it is it is parasite parasite on gametophyte why it is parasite on the gametophyte because it takes it takes nutrition from nutrition from the gametophyte so that's why we call that in bryophyte the sporophyte is always parasite on gametophyte tell me guys is it clear or not nabila and martin for both of you is it clear yes sir okay fine so what you have to do first do one thing note down this one this part this flow chart what i have made you have to note it down Let me know when you note it down. Sir, is that bear? Bear what? Sorry. Bear what is that? Uh, it absorb water. This one. This one? No, no. The table, the flowchart. In the, uh, it produces spore. This the one. Flowchart. The flowchart. Uh, the. Where where? And below below gametophyte. Okay, below gametophyte. It bear gamete. Okay. It bear gamete. Gametophyte bear gamete. 
male gamete and female gamete. Done? Yes. Okay. So now we are going to discuss the general characteristic of bryophyte. What are the general characteristic of bryophyte? Right? Let me discuss with you. Uh, types of bryophyte. General characteristic of bryophyte. Then I will explain if something will be left over here. General characteristic. General characteristic of bryophyte, right? The first and foremost, they are the the plants are the spawn. The plants are the spawn. You have to note it down. Plants are small. So they are very small kind of the plant. They are not very big plant, right? The roots are absent. The roots are absent. In place of root, please keep on noting now. In place of root. They may have, they have in, in, in place of root, they have rhizoid. In place of root, they have rhizoids, which may be very important, underline it, which may be unicellular, which may be unicellular or multicellular. In place of a root, they have rhizoids, which are unicellular and are multicellular. Full stop. In the same point, they help in they help in absorption of they help in absorption of Water and mineral. So can you repeat? Uh, yes. Uh, roots are absent. Full stop. In place of root, they have rhizoids, which may be unicellular. Or multicellular, which may be unicellular or multicellular. Full stop. Rhizoids absorb 
water and mineral next point vegetative reproduction means plant body breakdown so vegetative vegetative or reproduction takes place vegetative reproduction takes place through there are different means takes place through fragmentation so what is fragmentation in fragmentation what happen that main plant body break down and from every fragment or every part of the plant formation of new plant takes place fragmentation this is very important that you need to remember gamy g e double m a e gamy is basically the biscuits like structure they are found when the plant become older or die so these gamy give rise to the new plant that is gamy right so gamy buds etc right? so these are the mode of vegetative reproduction vegetative reproduction means when the formation of new plant takes place from the main plant body right not from any gamete and all that right so that is called vegetative reproduction next there are there are multi cellular sex organ there are multi cellular sex organ so there are two type of the sex organ multi cellular sex organ so there are basically two type of this male sex organ and female sex look here the name of male sex organ is antheridium so antheridium is a male sex organ this antheridium give me just a minute antheridium male i'm sorry male sex organ antheridium and female sex organ archegonium you need to remember these basically the archegonium and antheridium are found only in bryophyte and teredophyte the rest of the part we do not use these term they are exclusively fortia right any point of time if you feel some difficulty if you feel that you are not getting the point you have to let me know right okay so the female sex organ is archegonium So basically, some people call it archegonium, some call it archegonium, whatever the pronunciation you can pronounce. So basically, the exact pronunciation of what most of the people use that is the archegonium. Archegonium. So the male sex organ is antheridium, and female sex organ is archegonium, right? So antheridium is a type of the organ. Uh, let me uh, make you clear, and you have to draw this organ, right? And uh, let me make you clear that what exactly it look like so look antheridium look like like this one this kind of the structure
So from the every cell of enthridium, this is the entire structure of enthridium, right? And uh, these are the formation of sperm take this, right? So from these cell, sperm formation takes place. Sperm formation takes place from these cells. Now, when I talk about the archegonium, uh, one more important thing which I want to tell you. Martin and Amila, are you getting each and everything? This is covered by uh, a thick structure and this covering is called jacket. Jacket and this is called stock. Right? This is a stock and this is called jacket. Right? Now, Archegonium, are both of uh, both of you getting it or not? Nabila, Martin? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, what about the Archegonium? Archegonium is also a female reproductive structure. This is a female reproductive structure. This is structure is called neck, right? This is this is structure is called neck, and inside there are basically two cells, right? So it have two cells, and the main cell is that oosphere or egg. This is called oosphere, or oosphere is also known as the this is oosphere and there is a one more cell is found over here this is called this triangular cell this is called venter these structure are exclusively found in the uh, uh, here uh, in uh, uh, this one uh, bryophytes only right is that clear this part is called neck let me make you this part of archegonium it is called neck and this lower part is of archegonium it is So this is archegonium, that's it, right? So these are two structures. You have to note it down both of these structures. Now sperm will come from here, right? They will fuse with the oosphere and they will form the zygote. And the same process will take place on gametophyte. Is that clear? Nabila and Martin, clear? Yes, Look, uh, let me make you more clear, right? I will uh, give you more clarity on it because bryophytes are not that much simpler. Uh, suppose that uh, this is a bryophyte, for example, it's a rixia or marcantia. This is the structure of basically rix, right? This is these are the rhizoids, right? Upper side there are scales. So look, uh, there is this is the, the structure of archegonium, and this is the oosphere, right? It is archegonium. In the same plant, what will happen? In the same plant, there will be entropy. Right? In the same plant, there are entropy. Sperm will come out, right? These are the sperm. Right? These are the sperm. The sperm will come out and they will fuse over here. After fusion, what will happen? They will form the zygote, right? Then the next stage is, so this is, Enthridium. Enthridium will make a spore, right? A sperm. And uh, this is structure is called archegony. This is called archegony.
And theridium and archegonium both will fuse and they will form zygote, right? This zygote will germinate. Try to understand this zygote will germinate and it will form a structure. This zygotic structure, this is structure, this zygotic structure is called a sporophyte, right? A sporophyte, and this structure is called <coughs> gametophyte, right? So from where it will take the nutrition? This will take nutrition. This is gametophyte. So can we say that uh, sporophyte is parasite on gametophyte? Is that clear? Both of you, is that clear? Martin and Nabila? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So please draw the structure, then I will. Uh, like sexual organ of uh, Sorry? The sexual organ of Baravaphyte. Section? The sexual organ of right of uh... Yeah. Sexual organ are found on the same plant. At 3D man right? Sometimes they are on different plant as well. But is so which, which plant? Is, which plant? Uh, like Markensia. So but is sporophyte will always grow on the gametophyte, right? A sporophyte will always yes, grow on the gametophyte. Clear? Please note it down. Then, uh, then I will dictate something. For a sperm to reach to the archegonium, it require uh, water. Done? Yes, sir. Okay. Nabila, done? No yes, doubt. Sir. Okay, please note down. An external, an external layer of water, an external layer of water is essential for, is essential for Swimming of swimming of male gamete, swimming of male gamete 
to Archegonia. Next point. So to to reach Archegonia. To reach Archegonia. Full stop. Next this point. Name Archegonium, sir. Yeah, this is the it is written uh, A R. It is written over here. A R C H E G O N I U M. To reach Archegonium. To reach Archegonium. Full stop. Right. Next point. After fertilization, zygote is formed. After fertilization, zygote is formed. Will stop. The zygote germinate. The zygote germinate. on gametophyte full stop in bryophyte is sporophyte in bryophyte is sporophyte always take nutrition in bryophytes is sporophyte always take nutrition from gametophyte that's from, why from from in gametophyte is sporophyte always take nutrition from gametophyte take nutrition from gametophyte that's why that's why a sporophyte that's why a sporophyte is parasite on that's why a sporophyte is parasite on gametophyte that is why sporophyte is sporophyte is parasite on gametophyte is parasite on gametophyte gametophyte next point bryophyte bryophyte do not contain vascular bundle bryophyte do not contain vascular bundle that is xylem and phloem so no vascular bundle next point they do not have they do not have any mechanical tissue and they do not they do not have sir. they do not have any mechanical tissue and the maximum height and the maximum height of plant can be up to 60 centimeter this is the maximum the maximum height of plant can be up to 60 centimeter tell me guys general characteristic of bryophyte are clear or not Yes, sir. Great. Now types of the bryophyte. 
bryophyte can be divided into two categories, two types, liverwort and mosses. It is written over here. Liverwort, they have the thallus-like body, right? Liverwort are the plant, they have the thallus-like body, right? So, but the mosses have plant-like body, not plant, plant-like body, right? Which look like something plant. So we divide bryophyte into two categories. Fine. Now come to the liverwort. This is the diagram of liverwort. The example of liverwort is Rixia and Margentia. The diagram of Rixia I have made and you have seen. This is the diagram of Margentia. You can see uh, in the uh, Margentia, uh, male and female sex organ means Enthridium and Archibonium are present on different locations. This is the male plant. Try to understand. It is written A male plant and B is female. In male plant, this is male. In male plant, you can see this is the thallus. This is the disc like structure. Disc like structure have enthridia. That is a male reproductive organ. Right? And the branch where the enthridia, which bear the enthridia, is called enthridio 4. This four term means branch, right? Four means branch. These are the rhizoids which absorb water. There are gamma cups, gamules, right? Inside the gamma cups, so gamma cup are ga ga like, uh, they are the cup-like structure. Inside there are some gamules. When the plant die, uh, when plant become older, it completes its age, uh, plant die. These gamules, they germinate and they form new plant. So that's why the gamma cup is responsible for formation of new plant. I have already told you and I have like you have written that right. Uh, there are some biscuit like I have told you that in gamma cup inside gamma cup there are gamules. These are the biscuit like structure and they give rise to new plant right. But here this is the female. In female plant again gamma cup gamules are found right. Uh, rhizoids are there, scales are there. But the sex organ are archegonium right. Archegonia are present. Archegonia are found on the branches and those branches are called archegonio 4. Again, the 4 means branches, right? Bearing, sorry, uh, bearing branches. So, these are the archegonia. Now, you can see in 3 d they produces this sperm. A sperm require water for swimming to reach till the archegonia. Let me write it down more precisely, more clearly so that you understand even after the class, right? Because it, I have just written it like in speed. Sperm require a film of water, a film of water to swim, to swim and reaches to archegonium right so sperm require water so with the help of water it reaches to the archegonium it fuses the with the egg after the fusion of egg formation of zygote takes place from zygote zygote germinate from zygote formation of a sporophyte take place a sporophyte produces a spore a spore germinate and from the germination of a spore again the formation of gametophyte takes place so that is the right structure tell me is it clear or not liver word. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So put first heading and the heading will be liver word. Liver word. Example is Markensia and Rixia. First point in liver word, right? The thallus is flat. First point. Thallus is uh, flat. Uh, first point, thallus is flat, flat, F-L-A-T, thallus is flat and it is dorsi ventral, 
थैलस इज फ्लैट एंड इट इज डॉर्सी वेंट्रल फुल स्टॉप दे हैव नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दे हैव यूनिसेलुलर लिवर वॉन्ट राइट लिवर वर्ड एल आई वी आर डब्ल्यू ए आर टी डब्ल्यू ओ आर टी सॉरी लिवर वर्ड डब्ल्यू ओ आर टी लिवर वर्ड नेक्स्ट पॉइंट सॉरी कैन सर फर्स्ट पॉइंट एक्सप्लेन फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज दैट the thallus is flat and it is dorsi ventral means dorsal surface is different where scales are present uh, ventral surface ventral can you say like the spelling okay yes sure dorsi ventral d o r s i d o r s i v e n t R A L dorsi ventral. I have already told you that dorsi ventral means where the dorsal surface means upper surface and ventral surface lower surface is different. That is called dorsi ventral, right? And next point. They have unicellular rhizoid. They have unicellular rhizoid. They have unicellular rhizoid and multicellular scales they have unicellular rhizoid and multicellular scale next point is sporophyte is sporophyte is parasite is sporophyte is parasite on gametophyte next point length of length of you can um, repeat that they have unicellular they have unicellular rhizoid Unicellular rhizoid. Rhizoid. What is that? Rhizoid. Like. It's written over here. Rhizoids. These are these are rhizoids. They are rhizoids. They have unicellular rhizoids. R H I Z O I D S. Yeah. Okay. Unicellular rhizoids and multicellular scale. 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 scale s c a l e scale means leaf like structure these yeah. green these green leaf like structure they are called scale scale are like leaf but they are not leaf rhizoids are like root but not root like root but not root next multicellular scale then multi unicellular rhizoids and multicellular yeah. scale okay full stop okay that's it next point the length of plant the length of plant markensia the length of plant of markensia can be 2 to 10 cm the length of plant of markensia can be 2 to 10 cm next point vegetative reproduction vegetative reproduction t 
takes place through gamules it is written g e double m u l e s vegetative reproduction takes place through gamules at the full stop at the death of plant at the death of plant vegetative reproduction takes place through gamules g e double m u l e s gamules full stop at the death of plant at the death of plant at the death of plant they germinate death of plant they germinate and give rise at the death of plant they germinate and give rise new plant rise to new plant new plant right uh, uh, in bracket you can write gamules are biscuit like structure gamules are biscuit like structure next point male and female sex organ male and female sex organ are found on separate plant male and female sex organ are found on separate plant look where the male and female sex organ are found on separate plant that kind of the plants are known as dioecious right so let me write it down what is the dioecious dioecious where the male and female plant are different right and there is a term monoecious so marquensia is dioecious plant because male and female plants are different right monoecious are those where male and female sex organ are found on same plant look uh, is it clear that is clear hepaticopsida clear means uh, this one liver bud clear tell me guys everything clear if you have any doubt please ask me martin and namila yes yeah, yes okay clear fine now uh, come to the next one that is a mosses example of mosses funeria this plant is funeria right look now you can see the plant look like this this it is not a thallus like body it look like something like plant 
you cannot use the plant term for it but it look like something like plant right now you can say this is a plant by seeing only you can discriminate right again there is a root like structure so they have multicellular rhizoids again not root rhizoids they have a stem they have leaves they are not scales they have leaves they are spirally arranged right now in the same plant so you can say this is the monoecious plant why because both main male and female sex organ on the same plant right on different branch this is male branch it have two different branch male branch and female branch in male branch there is a uh, uh, male shoot right in male shoot there is anthridia anthridia produces sperm right this is a female branch means female shoot right and there is a this is female shoot and female shoot there is a archegonia right there will be archegonia archegonia now what will happen the from anthridia sperm will reach and sperm will reach to archegonia then zygote formation will take place then it will germinate you can see this is the sporophyte it is directly written over here this is sporophyte the lower plant part it is sporophyte you can see it is sporophyte and this part of the plant this part of the plant from here to here uh, from here to this part this is basically the gametophyte so here you can clearly say see uh, the sporophyte germinate on the gametophyte right now the lower part this part of the sporophyte is called here from here sporophyte start this is called foot foot remains inside the gametophyte from here take the nutrition this is seta and this is called capsule capsule is green when it is immature and orange when it ripe right this is a lid like structure called opercula right now you can see the, the structure of so here the sporophyte take nutrition from the gametophyte you can see clearly now this is the structure of capsule at maturity what happen uh, this is there are a tissue annulus these are the annulus tissues they die and this upper column or lid right lid like structure it is get removed right it get removed then what happen the spore are shed in dry condition the spore is spread everywhere in the the dispersal of spore so these are the teeth like peristome right these structure this black color structure they are called peristome it is very important peristome are teeth like structure there are a double row of teeth like structure they at the opening they what happen the teeth like structure they move like this way why due to uh, moisture right because they get dry so because moisture reduces so due to the moisture the movement take place because of this movement is spread of so teeth like structure there are a double row of teeth like structure they move due to movement of the these teeth the uh, spore is spread right and what happened with nabila Nabila, get disconnected. Did you got it, Martin? Capsule structure and sporophyte structure. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. They show the so when uh, anything uh, shows any plant or any structure shows the movement due to moisture. This is called hygroscopic movement. So these teeth shows hygroscopic movement, the movement due to the moisture, right? So spread of a spore. So this is the structure of the uh, mosses. Okay. I don't know where the Nabila is. They got disconnected. Let's wait for her two minutes. Then I'll, I'll start dictating.
ಮಾಡೇ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ನೋಡಿದ್ ನಾವು ರೈಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದಿಲ್ ಆಟ್ ಮಾಸಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಯೋಫೈಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಲೀವ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಯೋಫೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಲೀವ್ ವಿತ್ ರೇಡಿಯಲ್ ಸಿಮೆಟ್ರಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಯೋಫೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಲೀವ್ ವಿತ್ ರೇಡಿಯಲ್ ಸಿಮೆಟ್ರಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ leaves are spirally arranged leaves are spirally arranged and they have colorless multicellular they have colorless multi cellular rhizoite multi cellular multi cellular rhizoites next point uh funeria this is the structure of funeria right the example is funeria funeria multiply vegetatively funeria multiply vegetatively through fragmentation through fragmentation and gamules sir after the rhizoids funeria multiply vegetatively through uh, as i can I repeat the point funeria funeria multiply vegetatively through multiply vegetatively through fragmentation fragmentation and gamule formation next point male and female male and female both sex organ male and female both sex organ are found on are found on the same plant that's why a uh, male and female sex organ are found on same plant that's why plant is monoecious next point the foot of fragment is the foot of the foot of this one i have already written one foot the foot of is sporophyte is embedded in is embedded in the gametophyte the gametophyte the foot of the sporophyte 
the foot of a sporophyte is embedded in the gametophyte from where it takes nutrition full stop we can say we can say in funeria we can say in funeria is sporophyte is parasite we can say in funeria is sporophyte is parasite on gametophyte next one the capsule have the capsule have two rows of the capsule have two rows of capsule have two rows of teeth called peristome capsule have two rows of teeth called peristome this well peristome that is written over here so where sir yes peristome p e r i p e r i s t o m e capsule have two rows of teeth like structure peristome full stop they help in they, they they have two rows of teeth called peristome Te teeth like structure they have two rows or of teeth like structure called peristome they help in spreading of a spore full stop peristome shows peri stone p e r i they help in spreading of spore spore next point peri stone shows movement due to moisture movement due to moisture it is called hygroscopic movement it is called hygroscopic movement right so this was all about the uh, mosses is that clear martin or in doubt yeah i think so okay so moss uh, there is a moss uh, name of that moss is sphagnum this example you have to remember uh, it used in the place of cotton in second world war so what happened in second world war uh, the cotton crops destroyed by the bombing shelling and uh, due to war right and the cotton stock which was present that exhausted due to heavy bloodshed everywhere across the world so what happened that cotton was not there 
So in place of the cotton, doctor used this moss named sphagnum. Sphagnum have 18 to 26 times more water absorption capacity than its weight. Means one kilogram sphagnum can absorb 16 to 80 kilogram water. Now you can imagine. So its water absorbing capacity far more better than cotton. Second important thing, it have antibiotic property. Means wherever the sphagnum will grow, bacteria will not grow over there. So second thing, right? And uh, uh, this is the property of, so this fact you need to remember. Okay. So this was all about the bryophyte. Go through with it and tell me if you have any doubt. I won't start teridophyte today because, you know, even Nabila is not there. And, uh, I don't know. One more girl. What was her name? Uh, she's also not there. Tell me, Martin, if you have any doubt, any confusion, in algae or bryophyte anywhere. Yes, Martin, any doubt? No, no, sir. Okay. So, Martin, we will keep till here. In next class, we will start with the terror fight. Right. And what is, your, what, is, what is your job? What you have to do? Uh, you have to uh, revise and do the, some question of terror uh, fight, this fight, right? Just yeah. Okay, uh, sir. Wait, wait, wait. I stay here. Sorry? I, I stay here. No, 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 no. Uh, just, just wait. Just, just don't go right now. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's so why I'm asking. Do I stay here? Just give me some, some minutes. You know, uh, Teredo fight will start in the next class because all the students are absent, and even this is sufficient for today because it's a bit difficult. Uh,